Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. I'm talking with Ari Banerjee, who is Senior Director of Strategy at NEC Netcracker. Ari, great to see you again. We keep meeting in different parts of the world. This time we're in France. Um, let's begin with this, Ari. NEC Netcracker has announced AVP, Agile Virtual Platform. And it has technology, it has services, it has consulting and planning components of the whole thing. What's the big picture here? What's the point of AVP? What we announced a um, couple of days back is, as you said, is Agile Virtualization Platform, or as we call it, AVP. Um, and it also has a practice component as part of it. It is a groundbreaking initiative and a really a breakthrough in terms of how operators can commercialize SDN and NFB related services. What we have heard from operators over and over again is that they have a problem when it comes to hawks, trials, and moving them into full-scale commercialization. That's where we come in. It's a unique combination of tools, platform, and practice to make this commercialization for operators as seamless as possible. There are ideally four components of AVP. One is what we call the VDOC, or the Virtual Development Operations Center. It's not just about onboarding. Onboarding, as you will hear from many of the other vendors that we are just going to do onboarding, we do service design, it's much beyond that. It's a multi-view stakeholder kind of an environment where different components or different parts of the operator, operator's internal people plus third party system integrators all can sit in a room, let's put it in a, in a virtual room environment, and they can plan, design, deploy services. Onboarding is absolutely the last thing of that. Other big component of that is called what we call hybrid operations management. What it enables is operating your hybrid environment or your physical and virtual network environment at scale. So it creates or it brings together some of the unique components which are not covered by, let's say, the mono specs, so extended assurance, closed loop fulfillment, big data analytics, security, all of these concepts comes together. So we're commercialization at a huge scale. And third component of this is what we call business enablement applications. Unique microservices based decomposed components coming from your BSS layer to plug in the holes, to plug in the gaps on the IT side, which does not allow operators to, to really fully commercialize SDN NFP services. Do not, they don't have to go through a full-scale transformation because it's about band-aid. It's about making them work in the environment they have, just make it more intelligent and make it available to the end user. And the biggest part of it is what we call um, uh, primary system integration, or this is the practice part of it. it and we have been in this space for many years. We have started virtualization way before others have done it because of NTT, Docomo, and others. So we bring together unique, agile, virtual DevOps type of con you know, constructs, uh, paradigms, to help operators move towards the goal. So it brings together unique consulting practice. We have uh, about a thousand people who understand Scrum, DevOps, agile development, and all of that from a network standpoint. And they bring those methodologies, the processes, the tools, the consulting, for the operators. Second question then, Ari, what business benefits are NEC Netcracker hoping to deliver with AVP? Purely on the business benefits side of it. There are two sides of it. One is definitely when we talk about CapEx and OpEx. Mm -hmm. How do you bring together a lot of virtual network functions, commercialize that at scale? Second, time to market, right? You cannot use the same methodology, the same practices that we have always used in the world of physical network. Because that, and you, and you dovetail that and you try to bring that to the world of virtualized environment, doesn't really give you the enough benefits. What we have bring together, what we are bringing together, what we call a continuous integration, continuous testing, and a continuous development cycle. Running multiple sprints in an agile environment uh, to make this time to market much more easier. Multi-vendor is huge as well. So you should be ideal in the world of SDN NAV, bring together some components of VNFs from any different vendor and plug it together and, and, and can align it. The reality today is it doesn't happen. It's a like for like when it comes to network equipment vendors. They have the exact portfolio what they had on the physical side when they were giving boxes on the virtual side. The bigger part of this is the virtual network function manager which they bring only works with their stuff. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't work with somebody. So I cannot, Ideally, I cannot bring a P gateway from here, I bring some, you know, some other network component, somebody else, and bring it together and make it work. So you know what we call about is things like VNF bending machines. 
<laughs> for operators. They can't do it. But the operators want to do it because that's where the benefits of SG and NFV becomes real. So this is what it brings to happen. In, in, at scale, you know, reducing timelines and making it much more easier for operators and providing the commercialization layer so that the IT bottlenecks do not kill the business case. One last question this time around then, Ari. There's no doubt that Netcracker is going to help with the IT infrastructure components of AVP, but how are you going to help the service providers in terms of transforming themselves as organizations and as companies? Very good question, Martin. I mean, this is exactly why we have designed the, the primary system integration practice. That's why we bring in the processes, the organization and tools, the agile DevOps methodology, all that we have perfected or all that we have learned from our customers in the last few years. Bring that together as a toolkit, as a component, as a benchmarking um, processes, as well as you know gap analysis to help operators go from where they are today and adopt all of these things. Because if you cannot adopt Agile, if you cannot adopt DevOps, you cannot do this. It's a handshake between IT and network with a lot of inputs from the business side of the house as well. So if you are working in silos, the way the operators have always done, organizationally, this is never going to work. So it becomes a foundational component of, of our AVP. And we bring that for the operators, we bring our years of expertise in that and help operators to kind of bridge the chasm from where they are today to where they want to be in the near future. Excellent. Ari Banerjee, as usual, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Martin.